Tonight, for the first time, they tell their story. I'm sitting down with David. I think what we really have got to clear up here is that you are the one who manipulated, calculated this. And later, Harry joins us. What was the tipping point? You certainly must have had some conversations with Harry about it and have your own suspicions as to why. Well, it was the toughest selection of the season. Was there a specific reason why? Well, he wasn't making runs. Right. And you didn't know what to do? No, I didn't, Oprah. So I had no choice. What was that conversation? I made a mistake. What? Suddenly, you made this announcement. You didn't know it was coming. Ooh. We are going to take a break, y'all, and yeah. Harry's going to join us. We'll be right back with Harry. Oh, before we get into it, you look lovely. Oh, thanks, Oprah. <laughs> so do you. Wow. Any regrets? Heaps. I regret playing all season. I was that bad. That's good. There was also a story, did you hear this one, about you making Brady cry? You heard about that, okay. There was a game at St Andrews where I asked to bat above him. That really upset him. Did you make Brady cry? No. So where did that come from? You'd have to ask Brady that question. So do you think there was a standard for Brady in general and a separate one for you? Looking back, they seemed to be. But then two games later, I got dropped to the twos. What? That's right, Oprah. I got dropped to the freaking twos. So nobody tells you anything? No one told me anything, but there was talk in the change rooms. Who is having that conversation? I can't say, Oprah. So, are you saying you did not feel supported by the powers that be? Not at all. Hmm. And you're not going to tell me who had the conversation? Well, I can't say, Oprah. Dave is the chairman of selectors, and Greg runs the club. You do the maths. Was there a specific reason why? Well, apart from not making runs and taking no wickets, no. So how do they explain to you? I found out when they read out the teams. How so? Are you an idiot, Oprah? I said I got told when they read out the teams. Wait, hold, hold up, wait a minute. But how does that work? Well, the tradition is for someone to take you for a lap of the oval and let you know that you've been dropped. Who so tells that? you that? Dave should have. But you were, you both obviously were aware that that had been a part of the tradition. Uh-huh, well I was and have your own suspicions. Well, yeah, I did. A week before, I saw Dave having dinner with Josh Aitken. What? I don't want to talk about it, Oprah. So sorry to hear that. Thanks, Oprah. That means a lot coming from you. Nobody should have to go through that. The worst thing is, Dave won't even answer his phone when I call him. Why do you stop taking your calls? Maybe because I kept ringing him at three in the morning and off my chops. Yeah. Well, everybody can certainly relate. Can you believe Benny Mack played a game in the ones this season? What? Yeah, and Tom Ellis. They're in the car for fun. It's not funny, Oprah. <laughs> Why were they doing that? To stack the twos so that they could make finals, which didn't work anyway. I'm a little shocked. Well, it's a shocking story, Oprah. So nobody tells you anything? Well, yeah, they did. They said, make some runs, you dickhead. How do you feel about the club hearing you speak your truth today? Are you afraid of, of a backlash or, 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 their, or their reaction? Hopefully now they understand the pain and embarrassment that comes with playing in second 11. And they let me back into the ones. What's your relationship like now? Now we're both good now. Well, thank you for sharing your love story. Do I look at Dave? Are you looking at Oprah? 